welcome, Mr. Suno. Dr. Suno. Good afternoon, everyone. You hear me all right? Yes. Today, my topic is the Japanese Emperor. At the end of Second World War, 1945, Allied powers had a trial known as the Tokyo Trial, punishing military officers, just like a Nuremberg trial in Germany, punishing Nazi officers. In the Tokyo trial by Allied powers, a Japanese general was accused as a people who start war and uh, operate the war during the Pacific War. With uh, General Tojo, eight of them had uh, capital punishment. Although about a dozen generals were put him in jail for a lifetime. Altogether, 25 were punished. At the time, one key issue was how about emperor? Emperor is the leading authority of the country. Was he guilty or not? Among the Allied powers, Australian president and New Zealand president, they strongly said the emperor is guilty of war crime. He should be punished like the generals. However, American General Douglas MacArthur said, save him, don't punish him. The reason he said the Sabu Emperor was uh, three reasons. Number one, Japanese people think of him as a divine person. Because of that, during the war, America did not bomb Imperial Palace, as you remember. There was debate going on in Washington, should we bomb Imperial Palace? And the uh, anthropologist in Columbia University, Professor Ruth Benedict, advocate safe Imperial Palace because uh, Japanese believe uh, emperor as a divine person. So we save Imperial Palace, not bombing. Why General MacArthur advocate to save Emperor, not guilty? He had three reasons. One is uh, just as uh, uh, Americans believe, Emperor is a divine person, believed by the Japanese people. Number two was, uh, since he is uh, believed as a divine person, and whatever emperor says, Japanese people obey. So use emperor in occupational policy as a tool. They may not obey General MacArthur's policy. However, when Emperor said to them, people, the people will obey. So keep him as a policy tool. 
Number three, after liberation of Japan, the people were very active where number one, labor movement was uh, began to active. Number two was the progressive movement was active. Number three was uh, the communist movement was active in Japan to control preventing them to uh, have a protest and uh, not obeying uh, occupational policy use emperor to keep them. So he did. That was uh, from MacArthur's point of view, very effective, very smart policy, using emperor as a policy tool. So emperor was uh, saved. He was not guilty and not punished, but he lived to 87 years old, served as an emperor the longest one in history. The book I have here, Kiku to Sakura. Kiku is a chrysanthemum, symboling emperor and the imperial household. Kiku. Sakura is a symbol of common people. So emperor, imperial household, and the common people. Subtitle is uh, Emperor Crime, written by Hamazaki Keiji, the man who lived in Hensel Hall until last November he passed away. Last year, I talked about his writing and he was present here, witnessing my talk about his writing. At that time, we announced his writing will be published in Japan in book form and book published last month. His wife, who lives here in Hollenbeck, gave me a copy and I read it. It's a good book. Excellent writing. Scientific research and a very well researched as a, a lot of document and spend a lot of time writing this book. I am a writer. I wrote 26 books and published another book coming out next month, Korean translation of Japanese militarism. The book in Japan uh, translate in Japanese. Uh, the person, professor, I don't know, he read my English book and he wrote to me he wants to translate and uh, let Japanese read. They ought to read your book. So I said, okay. So they published. Another book I had, uh, South Korean Economy, published in France, and the man who translated, he said, his uh, French former colony in Africa, they ought to read it. So they published. It makes you feel good when someone recognizes your book. The book is very fine. I recommend it very highly. The book is uh, challenging MacArthur policy. MacArthur policy is uh, indirectly American policy of post-war Japan. He had uh, three points, well documented, well convincing argument against MacArthur's uh, saving General uh, uh, Emperor Hirohito. What are the points? Point number one, 
emperor is uh, according to Meiji constitution, he is the uh, only top authority controlling government, Japan government. According to Meiji constitution, in Article 1, empire is a thousand years old. I read to you from the book. Nippon Daigoku Kenpo, Dai Ichijo, Article 1, Japanese Constitution. Dai Nippon Daigoku wa Bansei Ikkei no Tenno o Tojisu. Japanese Empire is a thousand years old, it's controlled by Emperor. ここに言う統治権下は一般に国をはじめる権限の総体で具体的には立法、国会、行政、内閣、地方、裁判所、authority including parliament, legislative department, government, executive department, court, Judicial Department, all are under his authority. Plus, Department of Army, Department of Navy. So, complete control by the Emperor. There is a, no one can argue and complain Emperor's statement. He has a authority complete authority. So this is a proving that no one can argue with the emperor. Emperor says that's the law. Number one. Number two point. Wait a minute, Dad. Yeah, the power is gone. Your, uh, your microphone died. Yeah, it's a run. Can you hear now? Yes. Just say some words in the middle. Number one is the uh, emperor is uh, absolute authority running the country. Number one point. <coughs> Number two, those who defend emperor innocent claim that Emperor in paper, he is authority when actual politics, he does not get involved. He is a robot figurehead. Only the general control. Emperor has no involvement. So how can you convince Emperor is involved in policy processing. He has to have evidence. So the author, Hamadaki, find the evidence through meeting Emperor attend. The meeting was Dai Hongwei Gozen Kaiyi, which is Supreme War Council, established in 1894, First Sino Japanese War. And this organization officially located in the palace. Who are the 
members who participate in this council. Four from the army, four from the navy. In the army, chief of staff, general ranking. And second man is a deputy chief, lieutenant general. Number three person is a man who plan war and operate, major general. Number four is a full colonel who assist planning war and uh, take a note, secretary. And the Navy, same thing for from the Navy. So eight regular members plus Minister of Department of Army, Minister of Department of Navy, and the Prime Minister, and the one Minister of Interior, Kito, whom Emperor trust. So they are regular members attending this conference. Tai Hong Lei, Kojeng Kai Gi, Supreme War Council. They decide country go to war or remain peace. They decide. Then how do you know emperor participate in this uh, debating in the meeting? So the author look for the evidence where emperor participate. They had no record of the meeting. So he looked for the members who participated in the meeting had a diary or memo. And he found one memo from Prince Konoe, Prime Minister. Prince Konoe object war with America. So when generals push war against America, when the emperor approved, Konoe resigned from prime minister. He's a man of peace. In his memo, the author found emperors speaking. One occasion talking about going to war against America, hot debate going on, Emperor asked uh, presiding officer General Sugiyama. Sugiyama, Emperor said, how long will it take to finish war with America? General Sugiyama said, about three months, about three months. <coughs> Emperor said, you told me when we went to war with China, it will take three months, but now it's uh, four years. War started 1937, this is 1941. Four years, war still going on. General said, uh, America does not have preparation for defending. We attack Pearl Harbor, destroy the naval force, then we occupy California, <coughs> then move to Middle West and Rocky Mountain. America will propose for peace. So we will have a peace in Washington, we dictate the peace in Washington. So three months. Emperor said, you said that China is a big country, that's why it takes longer. Pacific Ocean is bigger than China. Anyway, General convinced Emperor go to war against Japan. 
Prince Konoe resigned from Prime Minister. The fact is, the author is proving emperor participate in debate war against America. Emperor finally give in general's wish to the war for how war start war began. Point number three. There is a criminal law in Japan. In criminal law, there is a cross indicating In law, it said, Fusaku e hang. Fusaku e ni yoru, saku e hang. Meaning, no action is crime. When you need to act to prevent crime, you don't act. That's crime. Then, give illustration. Young man came to his house and uh, he found out his father was uh, drunk and uh, smoking his cigarette start fire in newspaper it's going to burn the house down so he thought well if we burn house down we have a house insurance that's okay. Then if a burn house down, then he will burn father, the kill. Then son thought, well, father has a life insurance, so he will get the money from the insurance company. So life insurance and the fire insurance, he get rich. So he let the house burn down, he walked out of the house. The house burned down, the father got killed. The police came to investigate. Police asked the neighbor, what's the evidence you see? The neighbor said, young man came in, he stayed for hour, then he left, went out. So the police caught the young man and accused him, you let the house burn down, your father died. So, He was arrested and he sent to jail for a lifetime. He did not act when he should act, so he is committing crime. Emperor should act to prevent the war. He did not act. That's crime, according to the law. Because he did not act, the war went on, five million people got killed, including two and a half million Japanese. So he is committing crime according to criminal law. So three points he is arguing against MacArthur's uh, innocent saving emperor and uh, those people who defend emperor as uh, innocent. Why this man 
writing this book, talking about emperor who died and the war ended 50 years ago. It's a gone situation. Why is uh, talking about the past things? He has a simple answer to that. History was written in honesty. What happened, happened. History should not twist or camouflage or fabricate. That's not history. History has to be honest. Fact as a fact. This man is a survivor of Hiroshima atomic bomb. He lived through the horrible Hiroshima bomb. He doesn't want Japan have another war. He wants Japan to be peaceful Japan. He want present emperor to be symbol of peace. Keep Japan in peace. No more war. Past experience of war, the horrible experience, two and a half million people die. So he does not want that war happen again in Japan. He is protecting imperial policy, imperial system, which means he is a politically conservative man. He is not against the imperial system. He is supporting present emperor as a symbol of peace. Emperor Hirohito, in his last minute, by the end of war time, he tried to prevent war. Konoe, as I mentioned earlier, who was a prime minister, who against generals attacking Pearl Harbor, he resigned, known as a man of peace in Japan. He sent a message to emperor by the end of war in 1945, telling emperor Japan is going to lose war. There is no way Japan can win this war. It's better that Japan ask America for peace now. Because this 1945, America was uh, getting close to invade mainland of Japan. You remember the Major General Doolittle leading B-29 bomb? B-29 bomber destroyed all the major cities in Japan. Tokyo, Osaka, Kobe, Yokohama, all the big cities were destroyed by American B-29. B-29 destroyed Japanese labor force to 90%. Now they are fighting in Okinawa, getting close to mainland. But the generals, they don't want to stop. They will fight to the last man. So Konoe sent a message to emperor, sent a message to America, have peace. So the emperor listened, Prince Konoe, 
send a message to Japanese ambassador in Moscow. That time, Soviet Union and Japan had a peace agreement. The ambassador tell Soviet Union send a message to Washington, Japan want to peace. President Truman received the message. He rejected. No way. Must be unconditional surrender. No peace negotiation. So peace cannot have it. Besides, Truman was waiting for atomic bomb to get finished. He relied on atomic bomb. So atomic bomb finished. He was ready to drop. 150 American scientists signed petition to Truman not to drop bomb. That's inhuman. Truman did not listen. He dropped bomb in Hiroshima. He dropped bomb in Nagasaki. After the bomb, Japanese generals still did not want to stop war. But Emperor Hirohito was convinced. He announced to the old soldiers, Japanese soldiers, stop war, surrender to American soldiers. That was the end of war. So Emperor, although he collaborate beginning of war, he wanted to stop war, but it was too late. When Emperor and General MacArthur met person to person, Emperor Hirohito confessed to MacArthur, he is to be blamed. He is responsible of all this. So he will take any kind of punishment. Very humble man. And he said that there are thousands of Japanese are starving. Please help them. He asked for MacArthur. The MacArthur was impressed. The man is a humble man. To save him, to use him as a tool of occupational policy, which he did, that was a smart policy. The book written in Japanese, he went to Japan when he was two years old, and he stayed during the war. He came back to America in 1966. He was born in Fresno, American citizen. So he came back and he engaged in writing Rao Shimpo, Japanese daily paper, as a columnist, involved in many uh, Japanese language teaching, uh, very active in the Japanese community. I recommend this book, anyone who can read the Japanese, you can borrow this copy to read it. And uh, I wish this is translated in English so you can all read it. And the uh, man has uh, written very rare book. This book will be very controversial in Japan. They will discuss this book, Pro and the Khan. And uh, he contributed to Japanese peace.
peace for Japan. Japan remain peace. It's very timely because uh, I will give you uh, another uh, illustration. Today's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is promoting to change present peace constitution to eliminate Article 9 peace. He wants to have a normal country, not peaceful Japan where you cannot have military force and you cannot send the armed force to oversee. Uh, he wants to have a normal nation. So he wants to get rid of peaceful cross. He also went to worship in Yasukuni Shrine. Yasukuni Shrine, they honor millions of dead soldiers, including eight generals who were capital punished by Allied power. So when you go to Yasukuni Shrine and the worship, you are justifying Pearl Harbor. And uh, Prime Minister Abe and his cabinet members and his party conservative group, they all went to Yasukuni Shrine and the worship in Shrine. Another point is uh, Abe government trying to change high school Japanese textbook. In the textbook, there is a story of a Nanqing massacre. When Japan invaded China 1937, they invaded Nanqing, capital of China at that time, and uh, tens and thousands of innocent people got killed, and the thousand women were raped. All Chinese remember that story today. So today, according to opinion in China, how do you like Japan? 95% against Japan. The second story in the textbook is a story about the confirmed woman. Japanese army recruit tens and thousands of young women from Korea and China sent to China to entertain sex slave to uh, Japanese armed soldiers by army. They have survivor today. They testify that they were the slave, sex slave. Those women in Korea, they go to Embassy of Japan in Seoul, Korea every Wednesday morning all day for demonstration for past several years. And those women, survivors, came to America. They testify in American Congress. The American Congress suggests to Japan to apologize and pay compensation. But Japan government says uh, they have uh, nothing to do with it. The United Nations Human Rights Convention meeting in Geneva every other year. They talk about it and they also send a message to Japanese government to apologize. But America, Japanese government reject. They don't think they are responsible. They accept that happened but that's a private business. They have nothing to do. So they want to eliminate those stories from history book. So Abe, Prime Minister Abe today, trying to change Japanese history. So the book will say, do not change history. Don't camouflage and uh, change the history. What happened 
is a happen. History must be written in an honest way. So that's the story, and uh, my time is up. I will stop here. You have a question or comment, please do so now. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Did a wonderful job. Okay, one question. Notwithstanding Hirohito's guilt with the war, uh, could you say that MacArthur was justified in using him uh, to <clears throat> control Japan after the uh, Japan surrender. Emperor Hirohito, he apologized to General MacArthur. He's responsible. He's to be blamed for warfare. But General MacArthur wanted to save him, to use him in occupational policy which he did, and uh, very effectively. So he saved Hirohito's life, so MacArthur became Hirohito's benefactor. So he lived to until 87. But was MacArthur justified in doing that? Now MacArthur accepted. MacArthur knew he's guilty. But well, he wants to save him for use as a tool for his policy. Any other questions? Okay. Any other questions? When will the English translation be available? What would the Sarah? When will the English translation of Hamasaki's book be available? I don't know. I don't know who can translate. I'm, I'm hoping someone can translate uh, the book. It's a story of his uh, suffering on Hiroshima bomb. It's an excellent writing. I didn't talk about it. And there is another story. He went to church the author went to church, met all chaplain, American chaplain, and the chaplain asked him, is there sun worshiping in Japan? And he said, not that I know, so no worship sun religion. So that was the end. Then another day, he went back to church and met old chaplain again. He was about 70 years old man. He saw letter from Japanese kamikaze pilot. Kamikaze pilot is a suicidal bombing. About 17 years old, Kamikaze pilot was uh, going down to suicide, bombing, and he survived. And he went to the one American soldier called the chaplain. There is a, uh, one soldier holding the Bible in hand, and he's uh, dying, uh, calling somebody. So chaplain went and saw him dying and uh, Bible in hand and uh, he had uh, some writing from his uh, pocket that pocket writing he showed to the author here is uh, something you can translate so he read it and there was a soldier 17 years old soldier writing letter to his uh, mother he said, Okasa, mother, Okasa, mother, I love you. 
I'm sorry, I'm going to die tomorrow, and I cannot see you again. I cannot help you much in this world. But you pray for me, we will see you in the heaven. That was the letter. In the letter, O Ka Sa, mother, O Ka, left out the Ka Sa, so O Son, the Son was from O Ka Sa. That's why he thought Son worship. That was not Son worship. It's a mother. It's in the book. Any more questions? <coughs> okay, thank you, Dr. Shuno. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, everyone. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Yeah. yeah. Oh.